They've given us a Cabernet, a Pinot, and a red wine blend. They dropped it just in time for the holidays, so this should be the perfect treat for any Game of Thrones or House of the Dragon fan. So let's check them out. Cabernet is dense, rich, and jammy with scents of cherry tobacco and vanilla cream. Okay, first up will be our Cabernet. Now, traditionally, Cabernets are pretty dry and usually even a little sweet and fruity. So let's see if this one holds true to that. All right, let's go. As you can see, I've got my black dragon wine goblet ready to go because I mean, of course, it's always Team Black, literally and figuratively, but let's get to tasting this Cabernet. Wow, this is actually pretty good. It's very sweet. It is a little dry, but not too dry. And you can taste the fruitiness in there. I really, really like this. This is a very good cab if you're looking for one. Wow, that's good. Pinot Noir includes red cherry and cranberry aromatics with a long fruit filled finish. All right, next up is our Pinot. Now, Pinots are usually um, pretty dry too and they're gonna be kind of similar to the cab. They're gonna usually have like a lot of fruity notes in them. So they're pretty similar in wine category if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for dry fruity reds, then this is gonna be the way to go. It's a little hard to open this one. Ooh, it's a little ghetto. Just give me flea bottom. All right, let's give it a taste. Oh, wow. I really like the Pinot. It's nowhere near as dry as the Cab, and you can really taste the sweet fruitiness a lot more in this one. I would actually prefer this one to the Cab. Wow, this is really good. Mmm. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Red wine blend is velvety and dark with aromas of cocoa and cranberry. All right, last up is the red wine blend. They didn't give us any white wines in this collection, I'm assuming because it wasn't very traditional for the time. But my assumption is that this one is going to be the much more fruity sweet blend of the three. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, I stand corrected. This is a lot drier than I expected it to be. It definitely is fruity. You can taste the fruity notes there, but it's really dry. It might even be a little more dry than the Cab, but definitely a lot closer to the Cabernet than the Pinot, but it is really good. But I would say this is definitely probably the driest out of the three. Overall, all three are really good wines, but I'm going to give you my take kind of in rank of how I rank them. First, to me, number one is going to come the Pinot. It's sweet. It's slightly dry, but not too dry. It's like the perfect blend of all three. Next, I would go with the Cab. It is slightly drier, but still very fruity, and you can taste those fruity notes in there. So if you're worried about that, you'll still get that with the Cab. 
Last would be the red wine blend. It's a lot, a lot drier. And while the fruity notes are there, they're less distinguished than, than the other two wines. So this would be for someone who wants super dry, very light flavoring in the wine as far as the fruitiness is concerned. All three are really great affordable wines. Head down to your local store or order them online and grab some just in time for the holidays. I know I'm definitely getting a few more bottles. You can find me in the red keep somewhere getting lit. Happy holidays, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Yay.